Hi, this is Santi. Hi. <laughs> and Anna from Just Paint. Today we're going to be using Vibe. Um, it's a water based face paint and it's got some new uh, uh, hybrid qualities which make it a little water resistant. I'm putting some of their yellow on a sponge. Um, I'm going to put a little white because white helps make uh, some liquid colors more opaque. And I'm going to put some of the Vibe Orange. Alright, um, so I'm just going to start tapping. It's going to be really wet at first because that's where I first applied it. So I'm going to work it around his face. Um, the hybrid qualities really help it be a little bit more water resistant. So if you're going to be doing pool parties, sprinkler parties, uh, Zumba, marathons, Kind of events like that where the person the people are concerned about heat getting sprayed with water <coughs> sweating um this will be better than just using a cake paint the benefit of a uh, vibe is that uh, it doesn't have any alcohol so it doesn't uh like stain your eyes uh, when being applied um that also makes it so it, it takes a little bit longer to dry when you're applying it uh, so it takes a little bit longer to dry, but at the same time, it allows you for more blending. Um, and it's not very scented. It does have a little bit of perfume, uh, but it's not as strong at all. So the application is actually pretty pleasant. It just feels like regular wet face paint rather than the alcohol. Okay. It's a little harder to get like a very nice, super smooth base. Um, with liquids than with a cake, like especially a creamy cake. Um, but you can keep layering if you want to and intensify the colors. And you can always airbrush this paint. This, I mean, it was designed for airbrushing, but it can be used with sponge and brushes. We're trying to show you right now. And uh, as you can see, you can build in the colors. So as the layers dry, you can always add more, more if you need to. Something nice about it is if you squirt it into a little palette, it doesn't dry right away like a alcohol-based hybrid paint can. It like evaporates. The alcohol evaporates fast, and so you're constantly having to refill your um, your palette. Yeah. So usually, when you're painting with alcohol-based paints, if you're uh, using a little palette, you what you do constantly is actually you spray alcohol into your palette to reactivate. Since this one is uh, water-based, it takes a lot longer to dry out. So you can usually go through a gig um, without necessarily having to reactivate your paint. Uh, at the most, you'll just need to add more paint to your palette. And as you can see, the black is really opaque. Mm -hmm. Flows really, really nice off your brush. You really can't tell the difference. It's like if you were just using regular face paint, right, hon? Yeah, but I think it's better. It's just more solid. You don't get those kind of iffy... Uh, grays if it's not loaded up with enough water or paint uh, balance. So, oh, I gave you a big nose. I have to see your nose. Hold on, I gotta see it. Oh, there we go. It's kind of a teddy bear tiger. Oh, anyhow, I'm just gonna go around and do some thin to thick stripes. So, at the end of the video, we're gonna show how uh, we'll, uh, I'll let it dry and spray my face for you guys to see how it reacts to water and then I'll uh, wash it off or start the process of washing it off uh, on camera as well. So you can see how to remove it but it basically comes off with just regular soap and water. If you apply s liquid soap first to your face, lather it really well and then you can just um, rinse with water and you can use a little bit of lotion if there's any pigment left. You look fabulous. Do you want eyelash eyelashes? Do whatever you need to. Uh, <clears throat> this paint, once it's wet or if you're like running and sweating, it doesn't run. At the most, what it will start happening is that it starts peeling off. So you really want to ruin your design like a regular, you know, uh, face paint would do. Um, and you can always, for example, just paint with like Starblins or Magic Cake if oh, all you're looking is for sweat proof and then use their, their Vive Black for line work. 
Yeah, and then you kind of have a, a happy balance without having to totally change your whole kit. All right, so here is our cute, adorable tiger. So I'm going to let it dry, and then I'm going to spray my face and uh, see what happens. All right. All right, we'll be back. Bye-bye. All right, so now I'm going to spray it with water so that you guys can see how it reacts to water. And I'm going to do that. And you can see it just really, just very little comes off, uh, much better than regular face paint uh, will ever do. And I can dry it off. And a little bit did come off over here, so like I said, it can, it can happen. I'm sorry, Anna has something to say? Uh, when I was painting, I just noticed you had pretty oily skin. Okay. So, oily so if you skin. have more oily skin <clears throat> than other people, you know, it might come off a little bit more. So you can always, uh, you know, clean with a baby wipe before painting the person's face so you can powder it as well. So anyhow, now I'm going to actually remove it. So uh, I'm going to just add a little bit of water. Um, and then I'm putting liquid soap on my hands and I'm just going to... Go and there's areas where the paint will stick more. Probably the tip of my nose is still pretty black. I'm gonna guess. Uh, and you can use a sponge for that. So I'm gonna grab the sponge, and there's a little bit of water. Where's the water? There we go. <laughs> Good. And you can always use uh, lotion to remove any leftover paint that you may not be able to remove with, uh, oh, I'm making a mess over here, uh, mm. with just the soap and the water. Uh, just at the top of your forehead. And there we go. Let's see right now how it's like looking. Just one second. Ideally, you will do this over the sink where you can rinse. But as you can see, it looks pretty good. Uh, so, um, it comes off fairly easy once you want to remove it, uh, but it stays on uh, in contact when in contact with water or if you're sweating uh, pretty well. Thank you.